John here guys and today I'm reviewing this WL Toys car that goes 45 kilometers per hour and I'm gonna give you the details in the studio but check this out I have outfitted the DJI FPV system so I'm gonna be viewing the camera feed from these goggles and we're gonna see can you actually control a car that goes this fast in a parking lot on smooth ground let's check it out we're also gonna do some grass and see what it's like. A lot of people say that the 4x4s are too bumpy to be able to fly FPV or drive rather. I keep saying fly, but this is actually quite smooth. It's more of a racing style, but it has knobby tires so it can cover some terrain as well. Let's check it out. Well, that was pretty awesome. I broke one of these little connecting rods in the steering. As you can see, I flipped it over and I crashed it right on this DJI camera. Um, it's a good thing that these are out of stock on the entire world. You cannot get these and I just crashed on it. So um, I can still see the FPV feed though and it's still recording. So that's probably an okay sign. I go ahead and Stop the recording. Now I gotta go look for this little piece if I wanna be able to drive anymore. I didn't bring the box. I think there might be a spare, uh, but let's go check out. Okay. So somehow I managed to actually find this tiny thing in the grass over there. Um, that's unfortunate because this thing is tough, it's fast, it's fun, it's ultra controllable. This is the fastest car I've ever put an FPV system on there, especially the DJI one. Now I should have printed a lens protector but I went ahead and just sent it anyway even though these are out of stock worldwide. Um, this DJI FPV system um, so I was definitely uh, dangerous with it but this is unfortunate this is the third time this has happened any type of main minor bump or crash and this little rod connects the steering right here pops out too easily and there's just these little balls and these cups just fit on there so let's put it back on real quick so there it goes now it's good to go again that's kind of frustrating though because aside from that this is almost a perfect car I mean the battery life is pretty decent it says seven minutes but I feel like it's getting a little bit longer than that it is a little bit slow to charge but this is just a 2s lipo I got tons of these things I have this 2s 550 I could throw on there but I'm using that to power the DJI system I wonder if we could take a 3s battery and really go a little bit faster the only other thing I don't like is there's no type of bumpers out here at the front and rear I bet there probably is a pretty easy to install um, system right here you could see there's a little plate right here of where a big bumper would go unless there was one in the box and i just missed it hopefully that's not the case it could be though um but yeah maybe i'll design something uh for this and put it up on thingiverse the shocks 
and springs are excellent. I mean, the ride on this is just fantastic, guys. Uh, really, really cool. So, way to go on this. WL Toys seems to be the best value for the money, the most popular budget set of cars. Yeah, if you get up to the Armas, the Lossies, the Traxxas, uh, those are obviously going to be better, but you're going to spend three, five, sometimes as much as 10 times more than this. You can get this on sale for under 150 bucks right now and even if you don't catch that supercell i think it's normally like 165 which is still like pretty cheap a lot cheaper than a drone and uh good cheap fun so maybe we'll put z tag on this thing what do you think guys here is the car you can see all the quality components check out the electronics board with the fan on top and the receiver antenna sticking up the large nice size brushed motor with a metal heat sink on it uh, going out to the back check out those metal springs and shock towers on the front and back if we look a little bit up on top you can see you have metal servo horns in order to accommodate your steering metal drive shaft going to the front and back for full four wheel drive and it's a very nice simple and well laid out car in the comments um do you want to see more rc car content like this do you want to see more hooking up cars to the dji fpb system um i'll put the files for this universal mount that i designed on thingiverse this is the two-piece version where you can have a uh and you just double side tape you can see it screws on there very easily and then you can mount this uh actual video transmitter unit in a separate piece i didn't want to put it on top and for good reason because i did crash upside down so that actually kept pretty much everything safe so nice job me on that thanks guys